So as you can see, the wall behind me and the set for the past few weeks have been a bit different compared to what I normally have had. I've been in my house for like a year now and before that I was in a different place at my parents' house where I had my own office space. Now we're in our own building. This video series, kind of a miniature series, is all about making and designing the best, the most ultimate, the craziest, the coolest designer's studio office space, whatever you want to call it. We want to make this office space look cool, but also work well and be functional. So this video is the first in the miniature series of creating and designing the ultimate designer studio. So let's take a quick look around to see what it looks like in the office. This video is brought to you by FreshBooks. This is my new office. You've probably been wondering where I've been working at, so I thought I'd do a little studio tour and take you around to show you what it's all about, what we're doing and the plan. So like MTV style cribs, let's go inside and have a look at what we've already done. So here's the new outside foyer bit in the office. So when we bought this place, the reason why we liked it is because it was compartmentalized. So we've got not much here just now, but what we have got are the bare essentials, tables, bins, chairs, and stuff like that. Over here is gonna be like a, a place where people can chill out and relax. And this whole area is basically just a relaxing place. I'm gonna have a TV up there with wall murals around here as well. We've got a kitchen bay that looks dead as well, but that's, we've just started. We've only just moved in here. And also just this really nice, bright, open place out here looking on the fantastic car park. So the main idea of being in this place is to give me a bit of a break from being at home. And every time at some point in a YouTuber or as a designer or as a business owner, you need to expand and that's what we're doing today. We're literally expanding and every so often renovating little bits out here. But this is just the outer foyer bit. This is just where I come and hang out when we're not doing work. But I'll show you into the small office before we get into the big one, which is just behind this door over here. Here's a small, tiny office. It is just a tiny, tiny room with nothing in it, apart from a MacBook, a desk. Uh, and this is where hopefully one day someone's gonna work here. Cause that's the reason why we're here to expand. There's nothing much else apart from just being a little private bay. If you turn around, I'm gonna get Naomi to follow me in here. Over here, we've got the junk room or the storeroom. This is like, got no windows, doesn't look pretty at all, but the idea is anything film-wise, office-wise, stays in this room uh, until we need it. We've got my map box there. All of my video stuff, videoing and videography and design can take a lot of stuff when you, especially when you're doing YouTube videos. So this is just a little safe area. Over here, we've got the main office space, which is huge. It is massive. This place here was like sort of a dream of mine to have, which is near my home. So I'm gonna show you into the four different corners and what we're gonna be doing. Then I'm going to sort of compartmentalize it within the design software of how I designed the different areas of the room. So first one is obviously this one right here in front. So this one is my office space where you guys see most of the videos that you see now. This is all done up and made to look like a set. We are gonna paint this back wall here to a nice orange or green color, but we've got lots of plants. You need plants. I've got my iMac, my nice rustic wooden desk, and my favorite thing is the chalk wall, which I can just do whatever kind of chalking that I wanna do, any type of you know, mural work I can put on here and I take images of it for Instagram. So this sort of area here in this corner is my main film setup where everything happens to do with YouTube videos. If you're interested to see what I've got on my set, it is basically plants. You have to have plants if you work indoors in an office. I've also got like my iMac, which is the, the new iMac, sound systems, mic, headphones, iPad, I've got my tripod here where the camera goes and this big massive sunflower light which is what gives me the beautiful lighting in all of my videos for you guys. If we go over to this next corner here, this is very odd. We've got this big massive wall that my friend Ed made. Uh, this is a set, so I really like rustic sets. I love natural colors like browns and stuff. So we wanted something that was on wheels that we could move around the office. But the idea is that I could stand here in a video 
and that's it. This is the, the set and I don't have to do anything else. We have lighting on us and everything else. So here we've got the router, all of Naomi's tea bath stuff, which I'll explain later. Now, if we go over here, this is Naomi's ultra minimal set. Say hello, Naomi. Hey. So Naomi's the one behind the camera. For anyone who doesn't know, Naomi works with me in this design studio as an agency where we get client work and branding and stuff. This is Naomi's desk. She likes a simple life uh, and she's in the corner. Naomi, why aren't you in that room over there? That's it. Yeah, Nomi, Nomi likes to be here so she can look at me Keep over going. there. That's it. If you turn the camera and show them the difference of size. So Nomi keeps an eye on me and everything works out well. So this is Nomi's set. She's got her MacBook somewhere around here doing something. Now over here, every window we've got, how many windows? One, two, three, four, five. Five windows in here, so we can let lots of light in, but that's an issue for videoing. So we've got blackout blinds and each blind on each window even, so we can stop any light coming in to control the light even more. And this is just stuff outside of here. Now, if we turn around over here, we've got what will one day very soon be another set for a series of videos for podcasting, where obviously if you take these chairs out of the equation, this is gonna be a gigantic mural. And if you're interested, post in the comments a quote that you would like to see muralized on here with paint. Um, so we need to paint this and add some acoustic foam and stuff like that. But this is going to be like a sit down set where I can have someone from around the world come and sit down and be interviewed by me or just talk. So that is the next set over here. So this is the office that I've been working in in a while. It's a dream. Now, a lot of people ask why I've got a new office and the reasons behind it and the, probably the biggest and uh, the most known reason is working from home in a tiny office means you can't really expand. Filming is hard because you have got these massive lights and you've got big camera equipment that you want to do and you want to film courses, do workshops, and you don't have the space to do it. But in here, we've got the entirety of this office space to do what we like. We've got private rooms, we've got a nice little reception area, but not only that, We've got like masses amounts of space to do whatever we need for filming, to bring you guys content. And not only that, to expand and hire people in the future. So as you can see, this office is really bare at the minute. This is just episode one of the kind of office design studio makeover, where we're going to be adding different things, different tables, different wall fixtures to make it even better. Now, the first thing we need to do is acoustic foam because you can, all you can hear is like, echoes all the way around the room. It's not as bad as it first was, but that's basically it. Now, the biggest thing a designer needs is inspiration all the way around the room, hence why we have a massive chalk wall over there and everything else. So what we're gonna be doing is filling the office with plants. We're gonna be filling it with like decor and things like that to make it look nice and fun and entertaining and inspiring. So that's that's the one of the main things we need to do and also a tv because we we need to get a tv for this place so we can put on our work on there and watch it the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to show you how i designed the room how i designed the office and different sets in each corners how i worked out where the lights need to be and how i just generally knew what it was going to look like by the end of the process so as you saw there, I've shown you around my office space. I've shown you all the different areas. We've got the downstairs, the outside. We've got the little foyer bit and we're here in that office space. This is my sort of where I work right now, but also where I film. And that's going to change over a period of time. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the plans that I had for the office and how I came to want these plans to work. So here on my screen, I've actually got the plan of action of what I created. Now, you can see this is done in 5D Planner or Planner 5D. And this is all basically just a 3D model render off the office as accurate as I could make it. It was just to give me an idea of what I wanted and where I wanted things in the office. So as you can see here, we've got a 2D functional part here. This is the outer office bit with the table and stuff. It looks a bit different. This is the main office here. And then we've got two rooms here with the store cupboard. And as you can see, this is the plan for the office. So I'm gonna walk you through it on here a bit more as to what you haven't seen already. So the stairs are normally here as you come up to this part here. and we're going to be working on this office space in here very shortly so if i go into the 3d view this office space 
over here you can see i've got a desk with like you know little shelves and stuff it's just like another private office space where i can do whatever i need to do from video work to hiring someone to come and work in there with me in the future this again is the studio storage space it looks nice on here because i wanted like lots of different storage compartments now this app planner 5d they did give me a, like basically 30 days for free to use it to plan my office out to show people that you can do this pretty easily and it is pretty much measured to what i need it to be now if we go outside of here you can see this is like the landing bit where got the big bay windows and obviously it looks a lot better on here than it does out there right now but as you can see i've got the uh, sort of sofas i've got this place here where it's got shelving units and i've got a tv up at the top the reality of me having a space like this isn't just so i can work better it's so i can actually bring people from around the community who want to work with me here but not only that so we can create cool content having things that look nice uh, works nice and looks creative can really inspire me to create more and sometimes it is about the functionality and sometimes it is about the look if we go into the main office space this is where we are sat right here you can see if i just zoom in there it looks kind of similar to the video that you saw and that was like an intentional thing i planned out what table i wanted uh, where i wanted it and how it's all supposed to look which worked pretty well for me but not only that we've got like the backdrop here obviously this is yellow here but we haven't got the yellow wall painted at the back and we've also got the chalk wall here so i've compartmentalized the office into four different areas this area being one of my main offices and film areas and because it's open plan we've got another office and area here you can see this guy here and his face so this set here was actually designed so i could just sit down and talk and do videos where i don't need to show you something on a screen all the time or just just to have like another set to make things a bit interesting so i'm not always just sat here so we use that but the problem is we need to have acoustic foam around the room and the great thing about using this sort of a design software or any sort of design software for interior design is that you can sort of plan it out to see using maths and using logic where you need to put like the acoustic foam over here right now is where Naomi is, but I never anticipated it when I was designing this. So Naomi's just sort of stuck herself over there in that corner, which is fine. Uh, the next sort of point of call is this area here, which is like a sit down area uh, with like, you know, plants. You can see there's a heavy influence of plants in this office space and that's uh, on purpose as well plants are a huge part of what i want to bring to the office i want to make it sort of like you know eco and green and obviously there's a lot of benefits from having plants in an office especially with you know keeping your mood up and making you more productive so this area here is actually a podcast area and just a sit down uh, but the way that it's all planned is that everyone is looking towards the middle and everyone's looking towards everywhere else in the office and that is an intentional part you you work better when you're looking out towards something when you're not just like looking towards a wall or anything like that it's good to have these places sort of looking inwards to the room instead of like onto a wall so this area here is going to be muralized as well so this wall as i said before is going to be painted and muralized it's going to be really fun and also the walls out here if we were to go out here into the office these will be muralized as well and have paintings on and obviously we're going to have a big mac off tv there as well so that is basically the plan for the office right now now the idea of this series is to inspire you to make a setup and an office space or your bedroom or wherever you work the most creative and functional it can be now during this series i'm going to be showing you the products that i get the things that i do to the office and the reasons why because i think you know spending the time and revamping rooms and having a fresh slate can really give you a new perspective on what it means to sort of like design stuff not just like on a computer but to bring it into real life and it also says a lot about branding, which I'll talk about in a later video. So in the next video, hopefully we'll have more done to the office space. I'm really looking forward to like, you know, painting a bit more and getting more things and lights put in, acoustic foam to make it look cool and everything else. If you did enjoy it, please press that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And also turn on post notifications so you never miss a video when I upload it. I just want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, FreshBooks. Now, obviously having a new studio like this one means that you know obviously i've got a job and that means i invoice clients it means that i have expenses with all the things that i purchase so that means that i need a place to track 
my expenses, my invoice, and a, basically an easier way to get paid. Well, FreshBooks is an online accounting software that allows you to do just that. You can calculate how much VAT tax if you're in the UK that you have to pay or VAT. You also can calculate your expenses automatically, but the best feature by far for designers like myself who send invoices quite, quite often, especially when you've got them in reserved, is that you can see when a client has actually seen the invoice and everything is done within FreshBooks to do with invoicing. Once you sent an invoice, you can put them in as a client on FreshBooks and as any conversation to do with that invoice, you can talk to them directly through FreshBooks with that little email chat service it's got. And another reason why I love FreshBooks a lot is because of the way that you can get paid from it. If you take Stripe payments, there's a little pay me now button at the top right of the invoice when a client receives it, where they can just pay you instantaneously and easier. And it even notifies you when it's been paid. Well, if you liked all those features, which I hope you do, because it's pretty much like it's amazing, then you can click the link down below in the description, downstairs in the description of this video, and you'll get 30 days complete completely free, risk-free to use of FreshBooks, which means that you can just try out all of its features. And when you go and click on that link and you try it out, make sure you tell them where you heard about them from, which is me, Will Patterson from YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, press that like button. If you did not like the video, click the dislike button twice and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.